Good morning, Jay. How is the hip? It's fine. And Lillian, I still insist you take some time off to get it looked at properly. Then you can even get some rest. And I've told you, I feel better. It's fine, really. If you insist. Is Anita here yet? She's in the office. Should I get you anything? A cup of coffee a little later would be excellent. Okay. You should really think about what I said, Aunt Lillian. Hmm? <laughs> Good morning, Anita. Good morning, sir. How was your weekend? It was great. How was yours? Uh, nothing exceptional. <sighs> so, what did you do over the weekend? Well, I went to the cinema with my friends and then later went to the beach. Only you. <laughs> <laughs> Your friends are very important. It's best to have as much fun as you can when you're young, you know. Don't, mm. don't be an introverted old man like myself. Ta, you're not an old man. You're only 25. <laughs> and you being introverted is just a choice. Besides, you can actually make friends if you want to. Honestly, sometimes I feel 65. And as for friends, look, it's already too late for me. You know what they say about you can't teach old dogs new tricks? Old dog. <laughs> Sorry, it's your mindset. <laughs> Enough about, about me. Let's, let's get to work. What do we have on program today? Okay. Um, let's see. Yes, so... What's that? Oh. Um, it was just delivered and it's addressed to you, sir. Oh. I'm not expecting anything. Oh. Oh. Ah, oh, finally. Good news, sir. Great news, actually. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you about it, but I, I have to. I need to. Okay. Dan, old man, guy, I, I just got your message. Look, you have no idea what you've done for me, man. I owe you big time. It's nothing. Don't even say that. Guy, do you have an idea the kind of people I'm going to meet at this dinner? Plus, I'm going to meet Mr. Ralph Honor, and you know what that's going to do for my business, guy. Look, this, this is huge, man. I only did the first part, getting you in. The rest is on you. Remember, he's an eccentric man. He will only give certain contracts to married men. And the contract you seek falls into the category. Uh, eccentric man, you say? Oh. Uh, well, that means he and I will get along just fine. <laughs> uh, I, I have a plan. I, I, I'm a married man now. Mm -hmm. Do what you have to, bro. Sure. sure. Uh, I'll handle it. Thanks again, bro. Anita. Sir. I have a task. Marked okay. urgent. Okay, sir. Oh my god. I really need some new clothes. Senorita, I do. I'm good, though. Hmm. Man, things have been really tough since I left Double E. Yeah, 
yes i know i can't really do those options i mean i've tried but i just can't yes yes i know my option is really hard to come by but when it does it's usually very worth it <laughs> my dear that's why i registered for da classes now <laughs> this one everyone is cashing out with digital skills I cannot go stay for what I may so can enter my eyes though. How long will I be a double E girl for? See, I need a change in my life. Like, I need something good to just happen to me. Heaven knows I'm due. Come in. Sorry, I need you to check your mail. I forwarded the uh, feedbacks from the elite escorts. Oh. Yes. This this is good. Mm. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. I'll take a look at this in detail tonight and send you feedback tomorrow morning. Okay, that's fine. And you have 30 minutes to your meeting with the Ghana clients. I'm already prepared for that. Thank you. Okay. I am assuring you that that will be sorted as soon as possible. It's not a problem. No, no, no. Of course not. Okay. Thank you so much for still having faith in us. And do have a good day. Come in. Ah, what's that? Sir. Um, do you need me to do anything for you before I leave? No, no. I'm good. See you tomorrow. Okay, sir. See you tomorrow. And Anita. Sir. Very good job today. Excellent. Thank you very much, sir. Anita, did you forget something? Auntie Lily. Still working, I see. Uh, one of the travels of working from home. You never stop working. See, you. do you even know the meaning of the word stop? Did you stop for lunch today? Ah, uh, I've been busy all day. I, I'll do an early dinner. Awesome. So, how was work today? So far, so good. <laughs> I'm about to do something that I hope doesn't come back to bite me in the behind later. Nothing illegal, I hope. <laughs> no. I think. Uh, So there is this contract I've been chasing for a while now. And it turns out that the only way I can get it is to have a sit down one on one with the president of the company. And I just got an invitation to a dinner that he's hosting. That's great! This is a problem. What? The word is he would only give the contracts to a married man. Yes, he, he believes married men are more focused, more trustworthy, you know, they, they have something to lose. So. That's weird. He's the eccentric type. So, what are you going to do? Well, I uh, have employed the services of an escort agency. You want someone to escort you to the dinner? Uh, well, you, you can put it like that. You could also put it as she will be posing as my wife. But she's not your wife. Obviously. But, well, technically, me, I'm, I'm married, 
you know? She'll, she'll just be standing in for cheesy. So, Jeez. I don't see. Adelaide, don't, don't, don't start. My darling, it's been three years now. Oh, not for me. It still feels like it was just yesterday. Jay, I, as much as I loved Chizoba, you need to move on. I know she won't be happy seeing that you've caused this aspect of your life. You need to find happiness again. Mm. And if you had listened to me, uh, when I suggested that you get back into oh, the dating uh, pool, you won't be having to look for the services of an escorter now. And really, the dating pool is rather too murky for me. <laughs> and it's escort, not escorter. You know your problem. I'm sure you're going to tell me. You are too stubborn. You don't say. You are very lucky that you're no longer a small boy. I would have taken a switch to your bum bum for that tone <laughs> of voice. Honestly, sometimes I fear my age might not even be enough to stop you. <laughs> Keep testing me. <laughs> What are you having for dinner? Ah, well, the wife there asked for some coconut rice and asso. <laughs> and Lily, look, one of these days I will have to fire you. You're getting too saucy. I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what am I going to do with this today? Nope. Nope. I think you're the one. Yeah, you you do just fine. All done. <sighs> Jason Richards, what are you doing? Man, what are you doing? Good night, my love. Our hearts are entwined. I want to be where you are. want to stand by your side. In this garden of love, you ask me to hold you. I'll be holding you till the sun rises. You ask me to love you. I'll be loving you till I breathe my life.
Sir, have you gone through the files? Yes, uh, I have. I did that last night. Okay, and did you decide on anyone yet? Oh, yes, of course. You, you didn't get my email? Oh, I must have missed that. Oh, number five. Yes, number five, yes. Uh, sh she fit the role perfectly, much, much better than the other ones. Um, sir. Yes, Anita? Uh, sir, is this really necessary? I'll be happy to fill in if it is, and you don't have to pay me. Anita. Sir. That's a brilliant idea. I can't believe I didn't think about it myself. Oh my goodness, that's, that's magnificent. And you will definitely be paid. Really, sir? Oh, of course. You are way more beautiful and more classy than those women. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> no, you thank you, no, sir. No, thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness. You are hired. <laughs> I hope you're ready. Because we are going to go shopping to get the perfect dress for this role. Oh, Anita, what will I do without you? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Anita. Anita. Sir? Are you okay? <laughs> yes. Are yes, you, sir. Are you sure? Because you were gone for a minute there. I'm fine, sir. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. It's nothing. Okay. Uh, you were going to tell me something? Uh, yes. Um, no. I'll just go send the feedback mail to the editor's call. Yes. Please do that. Number you been? Yes, 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 I'm available. Place and time? Yes, yes, please. Um, just send me, send me the email. Okay, thank you so much. Jason Richards, 35, CEO DigiLink Security. That's it. These people ask us to send so much information, yet they send little to nothing about these clients. Thank God for search engines. <sighs> Jason Richards, CEO. on Instagram. This guy must be so boring. Oh, God. Good morning, Anita. So you have a 10 a.m. meeting with the candidate from the latest court. Anita, is everything all right? Yes, sir. Everything is fine. I just thought you would like to. Sure. Mm. OK, 
Good morning. I'm here for a meeting with Mr. Richards. He's busy. He will attend to you when he's ready. Okay. Shh. Anita, who is it? It's nobody. Just so. Morning, ma. Is she always that intense? Good morning. Good morning. Please. Thank you. Is, is there something on my forehead? What's with everyone here? Sorry, are you? I mean, it's it's just weird. First, the secretary gave me this attitude. Then this other lady gave me this really intense glare. Now you're staring at me. Have I sprouted once? Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm sorry. It's just you look a little younger than I thought you would. And please, let me apologize on their behalf. They're usually not like that. My age was part of the details sent to you. Yes, indeed. It's just you look a little more more mature in your pictures. Okay, well, if you change your mind, then it's fine. Oh, sorry. Wow. Uh, the lady has got an attitude. I'm sorry. I just don't like people treating me like a child. And I don't like people snobbing me. Uh, I actually meant that as a compliment. Right. I'm sorry. I'm very sensitive about my age. It's cost me a lot of opportunities. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, can I get you something to drink? Yeah, it's fine. Oh, okay then. Um, so, we, we can get started then? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, let me get this straight. You want me to play as a loving and doting wife? Simply put, yes. Okay, that's not a problem. But I'll need to at least know some personal details about you. Like family background, where you went to school, your age, our marriage and how long we've been married for. The list goes on and on. Yes, yes, that's brilliant. Uh, you'll be furnished with all those details. Uh, I would have my assistant prepare uh, an exhaustive dossier for you to study. Mm. And please, uh, I think I should let you know that there's a lot riding on this. So I would need you to, to you know, come with your A game. Mm. You have nothing to worry about. I'm a professional and this is not my first rodeo. Oh, oh, that's great. That's, that's reassuring to know. Mm. And uh, one more thing, mm, two days before the event, I will need you to move in, because... Move in? That's not necessary. Uh, actually, it is. You see, we need to go through the story together so we get it right. And then, of course, we need to rehearse and practice so we, we feel very natural and look like a real married couple. Yes. And besides, also, I would need some details about you so I also can, you know, know and talk. No, not necessarily. Um, you just have to make the perfect story for me. I mean, I can be whoever and whatever you want me to be. Remember, I'm just an actor playing a role. Oh, 
Ah, uh, yes, you, you're right. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Professional. So, yes. Uh, I'm guessing that's we're good then. Yes. Right? We're good. I'm good to go. You just have to pay me my fee. But. But. This thing about moving in is going to cost you extra because it wasn't in our contract and you're just laying it on me. <sighs> Fair enough. Uh, so how much extra would that cost? 50% extra. And you're paying it directly to me and not the agency. I'm not paying it to the agency? I mean, you're asking me to move in. I don't know how long I'm going to be there for. It's less than 48 hours. You, you move in two days before the event and then you leave the morning after. That's four days. Let's make it 75% extra. Oh, okay. Um, let's, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Um, that's... that's... 72 hours. If you move in 10 a.m. two days before and then you leave 10 a.m. or even before 10 a.m. the day after, that's 72 hours or less. Why am I leaving the next morning? Why can't I leave that same night? In case someone is watching. It, you know I should be charging you double for this. Let's keep it at 75% extra. 75% deal. Good. Once I see the alert, consider me booked. No problem. Uh, the, the money will be paid before the end of work today. Okay, so we're good here. I can leave. Um, well, just just one more thing. Just note that anything extra would cost you. No, no, no. It's nothing extra. It's just, well, we would have to go shopping. Oh, that's fine. I love shopping. As long as I get to keep the clothes. Sure, it's no problem. Good. Thank you. Yeah, have a lovely day. You too. about it yes it's, it's only a precaution you know ju just just in case besides i thought married couples are supposed to live together right <laughs> but she's a stranger i know and i'm a security expert cyber security it's my job yes remember i have a degree in criminology and security psychology I know what I'm saying. I don't understand this, your generation, no. Eh? You people have some very weird ideas about things. You really think so? Have you met the Gen Z? What's that? You know what? Don't worry about it. I don't think I can explain them to you in one day if I tried. I think that's complicated. You can put it like that. Are you sure you've really thought about this? Yes. Look, everything is going to be fine. Stop worrying. We are good. You can stop staring now. Yes, I'll tell you, I did do something. And it's something you are not going to be pleased with. Look, look, see, I know what you're going to say. You can say, why didn't I just listen to you? If I had listened to you and I had put myself out there, I would have found someone out of falling in love again and I won't have to hire someone to pose as my wife. I know, I know. But my love, you... 
You don't understand. <sighs> what am I saying? You can't understand. There's nobody good enough. No one can replace you. No one. Hmm. I feel like I'm studying for Jan Moldova again. Hey, son. Hmm. Criminology and security psychology from Tel Aviv University. And cyber security from home. And where do you think you're going with that? Excuse me? Why don't you ask your boss? And please, shove that tone and attitude in the bin. Have we met before? Did I offend you? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you don't know what I'm talking about? Yes. Since the first day I met you, you've been giving me an attitude. Like we're fighting over something. Look, I'm just here to do my job. So please, get the hell out of my way. I'm also just doing my job. I know what you said you were moving in. Take that up with your boss and not me. This is your room. Breakfast is by 6.30. You can have lunch anytime. Dinner is by 6 p.m. If you need anything, you let me know. Thank you. My kitchen is off limits. And so is Jason. Okay, noted, ma'am. Thank you for coming and thank you for your patience. I'm only just doing my job. So... Should we start with the questions first, or should we do the dance and then the dinner? Why don't we start with the questions, so you can see how much I know. Oh, uh, great. I guess we start with the obvious. Uh, what is my name? Jay Richards. Jason Richards. How old am I? 35. Correct. And when did we get married? October 20th, 2020. 25th. October 25th, 2020. It's a good try. Mm. What is my favorite color? Blue. Correct answer. Uh, how about we turn it up a notch? Uh, where did we have our first kiss? That was at a restaurant in Victoria Island. The name of the restaurant? RSVP. RSVP. Correct. How do we like to spend our time together? We love traveling. Uh, actually, we like staying indoors because I, I prefer it that way. But it's, it's good that you like to travel. That can be your own personal uh, hobby, but together we like to stay home. Okay. Do I like sports? You do. What kind of sports do I play? Football. Correct. Correct. What's the name of my favorite team? Manchester United. Correct. You did some very good studying. These are very lovely answers. Mm. Kudos. Thank you. Do I take a lot of alcohol? No. Do you take a lot of alcohol? No. Well, that is lovely. It's really bad for the liver. What's my favorite food? Beans and plantain. Beans and plantain. I've been having that since I was a child. May I know what your favorite food is? I don't have one. You don't? Well, if you, if you, beans and plantain, it's, it's really good. Okay. Very healthy. <laughs> I probably come up in more bitch. Uh, 
Do you think Nigeria will win the AFCON? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Step forward. Have your hand right there on my back to guide me. Back. Okay. And then when I step forward with this leg, you step back with that leg, okay? Okay. One and two and three. Oh, sorry, sorry. So now step forward, you have to move so I don't step back. Yes, yes. Okay. Push back on my hand. Push back. One. Two and three and four. Got it? Yeah, yeah. Can you go back? So one and two <laughs> and three and four. Are you ready? Can I play the music now? Just one more, one more time. One more? Okay. Hand there. Okay. Ready? Yes. Chin up. Confident? Look at me in my eyes. Okay, let's go. One. Two, three, four. Good? Yeah. Okay. Where have you been all my life? Just a second with you, and I knew it was you that could make me whole again. Just let me love you. Just let me love you It's no mistake where we are Just show me the way to your heart I hear your voice in a distance Pulling me closer Pulling me closer I feel so helpless without you I need you closer I need you closer it's no mistake where we are Just show me the way to your heart Take all the time that you need I'll wait for you Yes, I'll wait for you There's no one else I could love Just let me love you Just let me love you It's no mistake where we are just show me the way to your heart I hear your voice in a distance Pulling me closer, pulling me closer I feel so helpless without you I need you closer, I need you closer It's no mistake where we
So, what do you think? It was a good rehearsal, but I kept thinking that the dinner scene lacked something. And it just occurred to me what it was. What's that? Aren't couples supposed to have a secret conversation? Oh, I know exactly what you mean. We can always practice that. There's always tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm going to retire early. I hope you don't mind. I'm really tired. No, no, no. It's, it's perfectly fine. We've had a really busy day. Mm -hmm. All right. Anna, don't forget, uh, you're going shopping tomorrow. How is uh, 11 a.m. for you? 11 a.m. is perfect. Good. Do have a lovely night. You too. Good night. Good night. Why does it feel like I'm cheating on you? Because you know I will never do that, right? You, you know, right? Besides, she's only going to be here for just a few days. Afterwards, she's gone. And I'll never see her again. I promise. Dan, now you know how important this is to me. I wouldn't go this route if I didn't think it was my only option. I didn't want just any random lady because I don't want any strings attached or, or someone who would feel I owe them some form of commitment. An escort is a professional, you know, do the job get paid and that is it besides i don't even have any lady friend i could have asked so mm -hmm, exactly thanks man Mrs. Richards. Thank you. You look quite dapper by yourself, Mr. Richards. Thank you. <laughs> um, shall we? Please. I 
need you closer, I need you closer It's no mistake where we are Show me the way to your heart Stay with me I need you I just want to say that you were amazing. A sterling performance. Oscar winning. <laughs> At one point, I even began to believe it was real. Thank you for the glowing reviews, but be sure to relate that to Double E. I definitely will. Okay. <laughs> um, I need to... Yeah. Yes. Of course, sir. you must be tired. Don't let me keep you. Good night. Good night. I need you closer. I need you closer. It's no mistake where we are. Show me the way to your heart. Take all the time that you need. I'll wait for you. Yes, I'll wait for you. Let me love you. Just let me love you. It's no Oh, I see you're about ready to leave. So you can't wait to get rid of me, huh? <laughs> well, life goes on. That it does and fast. Uh, this is for you. Oh, wow. It's my way of saying uh, thank you for the job well done. Um, uh, thank you. Uh, thank you very much. You're welcome. So, uh, if you're ready to leave, I could drop you off. Can't wait to get rid of me, huh? Oh, no, 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 no. I just don't want you. I'm just you. kidding. My ride is waiting for me downstairs. Oh. Thank you so much for everything. And it was a pleasure doing business with you. Have a nice life. You too. Thank you. Let, let me get that for you. Oh, thank you. Babe, not only was the party so much fun, but guy, I have never in my life made that amount of money on a single job. Guess what I did with the money? Just guess. I completed the payment for my DA classes, of course. I can't imagine. Hey, babe, let me actually gist you about something that happened. <sighs> You know how I always tell you that I don't like mixing business with pleasure, right? But I was almost tempted. When we danced, uh, it was like the merging of two pieces in a puzzle. I, like, I, I don't even know how to describe it. I mean, yes, at first it was awkward and we were a little bit stiff, but after a while we got comfortable with each other and I felt really safe in his arms. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> give me joy. Ah, I'm telling you something. They're saying lover girl, lover girl, lover girl. Ah, but check it in. Eh. At dinner, we had our own secret conversation. Like, guy, we understood each other perfectly. Hmm. I can't lie. I've never been that in sync with a stranger in my life. Uh uh. You know me now. Of course, <clears throat> I didn't let him see butter melt on my tongue. Hard babe, hard babe, you already know. Mm, generally, the party wasn't that interesting, to be honest. You know all these rich people events are. 
Mm-hmm. All they do is drink champagne, eat all this small, small food, and network. But you know the most interesting part is when they announced us as Mr. and Mrs. Jason Richards. I don't know. I kind of liked it. It had a certain ring to it. Mm hmm. <laughs> this babe, don't kill me, please. <laughs> yeah. Good morning, Anita. Anita. Is everything all right? Yes, sir. Everything is fine. Are you sure? Yes, because sir. Because you've been acting rather cold and, and distant for a while now. There's no problem. Everything is fine. If there's something wrong, you'll tell me? Sure, I'll tell you. Mm. I don't know what is wrong you're asking. You're wrong. You're wrong. Hello? Hold on. Hold on. Uh, Mr. Ralph wants my wife and I to come to his office. No, 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 no. Of course not. It's, it's perfectly fine. Yes, please. I will, I will inquire for the details. Thank you. Yes. 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 Ah. Anita, sir? I need you to call Dorian and set up a meeting for today. Again? What do you mean by again? I mean that, are you going for the function again? I need her to escort me somewhere. So would you please call her now? Hello? Um, I can't make it till later this evening. Why is this girl so rude? I wonder why Jay is trying to see me though. Is the universe trying to tell me something? I'm so sorry for coming this late. Um, I couldn't get away all day. I just wrapped a 7 p.m. appointment with a client. Oh, no, no, that's fine. It's fine. Um, I hope you don't mind that I decided to deal with you directly this time. No, I actually do appreciate the consideration. Oh. So, well, we have been summoned for another meeting with Mr. Ralph. And that could only mean one thing. He's letting you handle the contract? Well, it, it will appear so, but, but let's not jump the gun. We did it. <laughs> I certainly hope so. So, uh, what kind of corporate wares do you have in your wardrobe, Mrs. Richards? <laughs> Thank you. 
Welcome, welcome. Hmm? Thank you, sir. Ready? Looking pretty. Thank you, sir. So, what can I, what will I ask my secretary to? Uh, we already had drinks at the reception while we waited, so we are good. Oh, sir. well, if that is the case, then let's get down to business. Um, the board has decided to give you the contract, the security contract for Expedia. But we have decided to make it a two-year renewable contract. What it means is that every two years, we have to review the results of this contract and see if we can move on from that. Uh, well, sir, I... This is more than I expected. Uh, I just want to say that you are making the best decision for your company. And hopefully, when you see the amount of work we will put into Expedia, you would uh, maybe let us handle your other three companies. <laughs> well, that remains to be seen. Hmm? Even though uh, our company does not give one person the handling of the four companies, hmm? I think I'm going to make uh, an exception. I'm going to give you the benefit of doubt. Hmm? All right? Uh, it's now for you to convince me. Uh, fair enough. <laughs> so we will not disappoint you. Thank you, sir. Congratulations, my love. Thank I'm so you, proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Mm. I'm, I'm so sorry. Please. Pretend I was not here, okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you know what you tell the scale in your favor? For the obvious affection that uh, both of you share. <laughs> sorry. Oh, yeah. I will die hard for my dick. You don't say. And I'm a strong believer that a, a, a happy home, a happy marriage, will give the best in a man. That is, a man that is well loved and cared for at home, will give his best at work. But a man that is troubled will never give his best. That's a good point, sir. It's, it's not just a point. I've seen this work out over and over. But don't get me wrong. I employ both married and unmarried. But I give each category their responsibilities. And it has worked for me over the years. That's good to know. So. Yeah. Well, I think I'll invite my lawyer now to come and uh, He's already in the premises. Okay, sir. Yeah, so you can sign the contract. Okay, sir. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm, I'm so sorry. Please. Pretend I was not here, okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you know what you tell the scale in your favor? Dan, now you know how important this is to me. I wouldn't go this route if I didn't think it was my only option. I didn't want just any random lady because I don't want any strings attached or or someone who would feel I owe them some form of commitment. An escort is a professional, you know, do the job, get paid, and that is it. Besides, I don't even have any lady friend I could have asked, so... Mm-hmm, exactly. Thanks, man. Gosh. By God, I'm due for something good. It's now or never, Doreen. 
the future lies ahead. And it's in your hands. If you don't need an appointment, then you can't see him. Tell him that it is in his best interest to see me and listen to what I have to say. Oh, okay. <gasps> oh, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So you're one of those girls, eh? You're one of them girls that think you can use pregnancy to pin a good looking, hardworking, kind man. Well, you cannot, not in this establishment. You know why? Because whatever happened between you guys was strictly business. Business and you were paid well for it. So if you think you can come here and do Anita, all this, it Who is that? It's me. Hey. Dorian. What are you doing here? Did you forget something? I think you might want to listen to what I have to say. Sure. Come in. So like she doesn't have an appointment. No, no, it's fine. Thank you. Please. <sighs> Every time someone was just breaking rules anyhow, if it's me now, they'll have my head on the plate. So, is everything okay? You need to marry me. Pardon me, you, you said what? I said you need to marry me. <laughs> well, why would I want to do that? I, I, are you drunk? No. For your own good, if you still want your contract. Is this... This better not be what I think it is. What do you think you are doing? What's best for me, and also what's best for you if you still want to keep your reputation clean. Wow, so this, this is blackmail to marry you, or what? Or, I'll go to Mr. Ralph and spill. I'll also take it to social media, which, you know, that won't be good for your brand. Okay. Why would you do this? I contracted you for a job, which you did happily, by the way. If I remember correctly, I paid you well. I even give you a bonus. I, does your agency know that you are doing this? Because you signed a non-disclosure agreement for goodness sake. Oh, that. I already quit, so they can't do anything to no, me. No, no, you don't get it. You signed an NDA. You are currently playing with the lawsuit. Mm, no, you don't get it. Because reporting me will still earn you the same damage. I'll still expose you for your deception. So... Are you going to tell them? I didn't think so. Look, you have 24 hours to give me a response. Why? Why do you want to marry me? You don't even know me. Look, the way I see it, you have no choice and make no mistakes. I promise to make this very messy for you if you don't give me the right answer in 24 hours. Trouble in paradise. <laughs> and they're telling this young girls, no, they wouldn't listen. I think you can come here and do all this one. Anita. Sir? You can take the rest of the day off. Sir? We are done for today. In fact, take the rest of the week off. 
can come back next Monday. <laughs> Breakfast now, such a lucky. Go touch everybody. You don't touch my boss. Ha! Huh. So, <laughs> imagine being heartbroken by a common core girl. That's why he's acting this way. Ha! Huh. Anita, how could you have fallen in love with someone like this that likes to patronize core girls? Straight, imagine. Ha! <sighs> you, doctor. You're obviously not feeling fine. Okay. What closed? We go home. <clears throat> you made it. You found it. You got it. But at what cost? You made it. You found it. Jason. your door locked and why are you in your room by this time where is Anita not now auntie you know you can't talk to me what's the problem I said not now I need to be alone I hope everything is okay please don't do anything stupid Unfortunately, that's already been done, isn't it? Gone ahead and got to myself in the biggest mess. Jason. Hello? Oh babe, hi, how far? I'm babe, I'm expecting an important call on this line, so please let me talk to you later, I beg. Okay. This man is trying to call my bluff. I've really, really messed up. I, is she really going to carry out those threats? Like she's really willing to go that far? Because I, I don't know. You should know now. She's a woman like you. I don't obviously mean like you. You, you know what I mean. Like, I should never have done this. I should, I should never have done. This. Because now I'm stuck between the devil and the deep blue sea and. I don't see a way out of it. I, I don't, I don't, I... Look, I, I'm just going to, going to call Mr. Ralph and tell him, although I said I was married, I'm actually a widower. Does that change anything for you? It does. Of course it does. But if I don't do anything, she'll just go out. 
tell everybody and I, I can't have that. No, it can't happen. No, no. But I can't now marry Ivan now, can I? man really think that he can call my bluff? Also, he wants to cross me. <laughs> we shall see. office, 10 a.m. I'm sorry. I... I'm sorry. I Look, I know you're disappointed in me. But what would you have me do? I, I don't know what to do. I said 10 a.m., not 10 p.m. You don't call the shots. I'll do it. It's my choice. I'll do it, but I have my conditions. You also don't get to have conditions. You either take it or we can both go to hell. So what is it going to be? I'll hear your conditions. Mm. This will be a marriage in name only. We will never be intimate. You can go ahead and live your life however you want. Except, of course, you can't have an affair while we're legally married. I'll pay your bills and you will show up to perform your wifely duties in public for our parents' sake only, of course. And beyond that, we'll live together as housemates. And look, let's get one thing straight. I do not want you in my life. I do not want you in my home. I am only doing this because I am being blackmailed. So let's not forget that one very important fact. Hmm. When did I ever give you the impression that I was doing this out of love? Oh, please. Don't be delusional. Fine. At least we're on the same page. I'll need you to inform your staff about my position as your wife. After we get married, I'll, I'll introduce you. But I have no control over how they will take it or how they will treat you. I only need you to inform them. I'll handle the rest. Suit yourself. Oh, I plan to. Jason, 
you've been withdrawn and avoiding me all week. I'm okay, Andy. No, you are not okay. Talk to me. Please. Andy. I want to be alone. Those were your friends, they stood beside you. You thought it would work. You thought it'd be easy. If you take a few now, you'll be left standing on top. You'd do anything for those that you love. Did you take a step to think about it? What's going on here? She lives here now. Lives here now? How? What happened to your house? I live here now because he's now my husband. Pa! There is no how my boy will be planning to get married and I won't be the first to know. Isn't that right, Jason? Well, he's married and to me. So, you better be nice to me now. What is she talking about? I don't want to talk about it. Jesse Nike Chukuka Richards! What have you done? Did you? You trapped him with pregnancy. That's it, right? Ma'am, do I look like I need pregnancy to get a man to marry me? Listen here, I do not know what you did, but it is clear that he is not happy. Even a blind man can see that this is against his will. Whatever it is that you did, rest assured, you will regret it. What are we having for dinner? Hello? Can I help? You are not welcome here. Since you came into Jason's life, he has been unhappy and I will never forgive you for that. I do not know what you did to get him to marry you. <laughs> but I promise you, you will never be happy in this house. As regards your meals, do not dare touch my food or my foodstuff, or you see another side of me. Go and sort yourself out elsewhere. Oh. Food that my husband provided, you mean? Maybe I'm doing all of this wrong. I'll gain nothing by making these people my enemies. I shouldn't do that. No, I, I most certainly shouldn't do that. I don't want to live here walking on eggshells. This is my husband's house, whether they like it or not. Which could be better. I know, I know. I know I've been avoiding you. It's just. I can't bring myself to look at you right now. I mean. Look at the mess I've gotten myself into. And I don't even know how to get myself out of it. Once I'm able to figure out a way out, 
then I can face you. Hmm? I can't. Baby. Mm. It feels so warm. How dare you? How dare I? How dare I get into bed with my husband? Don't, don't call me that. Don't you ever call me that. I am your wife. In name only. What exactly did you think was going to happen? That you would blackmail me into marrying you and then I'll act like it was for love? Look, if you haven't figured it out yet, in this house, you have made yourself an enemy. Now get off this bed and get out of my room if I throw you out. Not your business. Get out! Okay. I'll leave. For now. I don't want to ever see or speak to you. And if you need anything, you can ask Aunt Lillian or Anita. your business. Get out! Wait. Have I made a mess of this? Why did I think taking the combative stance was best? Still here. I mean, I don't get it. What exactly did you do to latch on him like this, Doreen? First of all, it's Mrs. Richards to you. Second of all, one of made of the same cloth, not by a long shot. So don't ever delude yourself to thinking that there was a competition. You could never ever stand a chance. Yes. 
I'll call you back. You are late. You married her? You married her? How could you? Excuse you? How dare you just barge into my office and start questioning me in that tone like you deserve an explanation? Oh, really? Really, Jason? I've been here the entire time, but you'd rather employ the sentence of, of a call girl! Oh, I mean, Anita! I thought you were different! Anita! What's going on here? What is wrong with you? You! You are what is wrong with me! I mean, you men are a bunch of idiots! You know what? I quit! No, 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 you can't quit. Look, look, see, let's let's not lose our heads here. I need you here. Please, look, see, the contract coming on the pipeline is going to make us busier than ever. It's really big. You, you can't quit. So now you need me because that is all Anita is good for. Work! That is all I'm good for, right? Why can't you need me like I need you? I've been here the entire time in your face. Will you rather choose her over me? What does she have that I don't? Anita, I... I don't know where all this is coming from. You're my assistant. And I'm sorry if I never saw you beyond that, but look, I really, really love working with you. You are a magnificent assistant. You're great at your job. And I need you here. So now you need me to slave for you, right? Slave? Because I, I pay you well. I pay you even better than the going rate. What are you saying? What, what are you saying? Give your money to yourself. I don't need it. I quit! Jason! You, you can't quit. You need to at least give me two weeks notice so you can't quit. I'm going to send you my resignation letter and bandit it! Anita! Has Anita gone? I wanted her to get me something on her way here tomorrow. She has already left. Oh. She has changed. How so? I can't actually explain it, but she's just different. You do know she's in love with you, right? <laughs> what? And Lily, what, what are you talking about? Men. How you can be so obtuse baffles me. That girl practically wears her heart on her sleeve for you. Ah, uh, Lily, would you just stop? Come on, what, what do you even know about love? <laughs> Look, the fact that I did not remarry after losing my husband does not mean I don't know about it, though. I'll have you know that the five years we spent together, I had it good. Good enough to know love when I see it. Or something that looks like it. Sorry for your loss, Auntie. I too, I miss Uncle Joe sometimes. I miss him too. I still say you have no idea what you are talking about. Uncle Joe, <laughs> this one. what do you know? All romantic. What way you're going? Are you blind? What? What the? Ah. This is all your fault. Me? But what did I do? If you didn't force your way into my life, I wouldn't have lost the best assistant at a very crucial time in my life. I can feel him for her. I mean, at least until you find a replacement. <sighs> I watched her. I know what to do. You won't regret it. Fool me once. Good evening, ma. Ma, please, can I talk to you? Get out of my way. Ma, please. Please. I really need your help. 
This is about Jay. What do you want? Now, first of all, I, I just want to say that I'm truly sorry. I had no issues with you. I disrespected you and I was wrong. I'm sorry. What exactly did you do to him? Because he has refused to tell me and he tells me everything. I blackmailed him into marrying me. Eh? You don't deserve my help. Ma, please, please. Please, please, I'm sorry. How, how can I make amends? Divorce him. Give him his freedom. I'm afraid I can't do that. Ma, but I know what I can do. I can make him happy. And I need your help. I know that he trusts you and he listens to you. And I know that you love him and you want what's best for him. That's why I need your help. Please. How can I help you when you've already made yourself an enemy? I know. And I sincerely regret that. I wish I could change the hands of time, but we're here now. Please, please, ma'am, please, I need your help. What made you have a change of heart? Last night, I saw the deepest pain that I've ever seen in someone's eyes. And it was directed at her picture. I never want to be the cause of that pain. I only want to bring joy. So I need to know who she is. Please. They met in school. She's about us. Soft spoken, so intelligent. She was the kindest woman he'd ever met, according to him. They were crazy about each other and got married within six months. Everybody loved her. Oh. Three months into their marriage, tragedy struck and she was involved in a plane crash. We were scared. Jason never, he never got over it. We were all so scared that he would hurt himself. We, his parents and I, it was that incident that made me decide to move in and take care of him. I, I, I love him like my younger brother. Jason has been through a lot. My God, I, I'm so sorry. I, I had no idea. You couldn't have known. But that is still no excuse for you to blackmail a man into marrying you. I realize that. And, and that's why I'm willing to make amends. How? You've already said you won't divorce him. Yeah. I, I know what to do to make him happy. That's why I need your help. I think it's rather late for that, considering the fact that the foundation is faulty. Will you help me? Please. Good morning. Your office is all clean. And I found your organizer. Your schedule for today. First off, you have a meeting with Mr. Felicia Phillips. That's the chairman of the independent. And then second of all, you have a meeting with Mr. Lamin Man. Lamin Manja. Oh. Good evening, Auntie. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Where are you coming from? I went to buy some groceries. Okay. 
I made some oha soup. You can go and take some. If really? Yeah. I can eat your food. Uh-huh. <laughs> Thank you, Auntie Lee. You scared of me, young lady. <laughs> See, you're still under my ego watch. Hmm? Any nonsense and all privileges are withdrawn. Auntie, there won't be any nonsense. <laughs> so, how far will Jay? He hasn't said anything to me. Auntie, it's been two weeks. And I still haven't been able to get through to Jay. I'm starting to think all of this was just a waste of time. Mm -mm -mm. If you really meant everything you told me, then you have to keep trying. You can't give up. And he knew that I did. But now I'm thinking I should just accept defeat and go home. I did not think of you as a quitter. These are matters of the heart. And I don't think my heart can take any coldness from him anymore. <sighs> <laughs> Auntie, are you okay? My hip, it's been acting up. I need to go and get it checked out. Auntie, I'm so sorry. Mm. You need to rest. Also, please let me help you at least until you leave. I have someone coming to stand in for me. No, Auntie, no. You can't do that, please. Let me help you. Why? Why? Can't I do that? Auntie, please, let me stand in for you. I believe this is the only chance I might get if I want to make a headway with Jay. He won't like this one bit. And are you going to tell him? Please, do this for me. You have to promise me you'll take care of him. I cross my heart. Because if you don't, you'll have me to contend with. Oh, as if I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, Auntie. I, I promise I won't let you down. <laughs> what are you hiding? What's up? What's going on? Nothing. Please. Come in. Your dinner is ready. What are you doing here? I came to let you know that you didn't leave was... my room. Jay, can we please just? I said, get out. All right. And Lillian, mm? did you send what's her face to me? Yes. Why? Why would you do that? I told you I didn't want to see or speak to her. She was just helping me out. My hip has... Um, Yo, is has... everything okay? It's gotten worse. That's it. I'm not taking any more of your excuses. We are going to the doctor today. I already beat you to it. I have an appointment with him tomorrow. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't want you to start getting worried. Well, it's rather too late for that now, isn't it? I may have been wrong about her. I mean, Doreen. She might just be what you need. <laughs> I think you should give her a chance. And Lillian. You have no idea what you are talking about. You don't know that girl. Maybe. Just maybe you are the one who doesn't know her. Oh, Lillian, come on. I can't even believe you are the one talking like this. He... That girl blackmailed me into marrying her. And Lillian. Just give her a chance. You never know. And, and Lillian, please. No, please. Now I'm going to help you upstairs. But first thing tomorrow morning, we are going to the doctor. Hmm? Jason. If 
anything you are about to say is about Doreen. I do not want to hear it. Hmm? Hmm. Uh, uh, small, small. Uh, small, small. Okay, okay. Just... Mm -hmm. Small, small. Uh, mm -hmm. If you are uh, just listening to me... It just crept up on me. I just... Of course it did. Uh, small, small. How do you want to make it up these stairs now? You're here with me now. Just small, 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 small. <sighs> Just put all your mm. weight on my shoulders, okay? Okay? Mm. Sorry, sorry, <sighs> sorry, sorry, sorry. It's not as bad as it looks, Oh, so. what else would you say? <sighs> you have started again. I played with fire, took it higher, I led my desires. Get the best of me I wish I could turn back The hands of time I wish I wake up And realize it was all a dream Oh, I'm burning I can feel it in my soul I've tried running But there's nowhere left to go Cause my hands are tired I can't escape I only got one choice, I gotta face it. I knew it was inside. Until Lillian said it's your favorite. You have some gods coming in here without an invitation. You're obviously hungry. Why don't you let me dish some food for you? Or you can do it for yourself if you don't Listen, want me to. I don't want you doing anything for me. So please, stop trying. I don't want you here. The only reason why you are here, the only reason why you are standing there right now is because you blackmailed your way in. In fact, if I never see you again, it will make me very, very happy. No, Ted. I'm sorry. I, I won't bother you again. Thank you. Who am I fooling? Get the best of me. I love him. I wish I could turn back. I've loved him since our first dance downstairs. It was all a dream. Why else will I be trying so hard? Why else will I force an entire stranger? Scratch that. Why else would I blackmail an entire stranger into marrying me? Torin, just wow. Wow. Jay, please, we need to talk. We have nothing to talk about. And I thought I told you, if you have anything to say to me, say to Aunt Lillian. Jay, please. Auntie Lillian is not around. Please, just, just hear me out. The last time you said that to me, you blackmailed me into marrying you. So what is it you want to say this time around? Th that's not the case this time, I promise. Please. You have five minutes. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry. Mm. I'm sorry for blackmailing you into marrying me. I'm sorry that you're in pain. And I'm truly sorry about your wife. How did you know about that? How did you know about her? The picture. That night. Don't you ever... Talk about her. You hear me? Don't you ever. You are not worthy 
to mention her. Okay. No, Jay, I'm sorry. Please, 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 just hear me out. Please, we can work this out. Please. Wait, what? What are we working out exactly? This. Our marriage. <laughs> Our marriage. <laughs> what in the cosmos? will make you think I will choose to marry an escort. How many men have you even slept with? Jay, I'm not... I, You're I, not an escort. No, I, I am. I mean, I, I mm -hmm. was, but... But what? But I never slept with them. <laughs> Look, I was born at night. I wasn't born last night. Jay, I swear, I was never intimate with any of those men. Why do you think they sent my details to you? I'm sure you're going to tell me. I remember it wasn't only yours that they sent. The elite escort's contract was no sex. Yes, it wasn't only me. There were five of us that were also under that type of arrangement. Why am I supposed to believe you? I got into the business my final year of university. I was dirt broke. And my friend told me about them. I had just lost both my parents the previous year. And I mean, I was writing my final project. I didn't have time to get a regular job. When she told me about the elite escorts and the no sex option, I decided why not? I mean, the money was good. And because of the no sex option, the opportunities were not regular. So I was able to focus on my final year. After school, why didn't you just quit? You didn't need the money anymore. Like I said, the money was good. Oh. And when I finished school, I couldn't find a job. So I stuck with them until some months ago when I quit. And then I registered for a data analysis course. You quit? Oh, how come they still sent me your files then? Because every now and then they would call me for jobs. Juicy offers, but I, I never accepted them. Okay. But you accepted this juicy offer? Yes, because I needed to complete the payments for the data analysis course. <laughs> you have an answer for everything, don't you? So you expect me to honestly believe that you were escorting grown, full-blooded men without sex. But, Jay, you have blood running through your veins. Did we have sex? It's not the same thing. I mean, this is confidential. And I don't want to name names. But my clientele, they were mostly men that that swung the other way. Men who needed people to escort them to family functions or to prove their virility. Some of these men just wanted to keep women at bay. I mean, you can ask Double E, they'll tell you the truth. Double E? Yeah, it stands for elite escorts. Look, this still doesn't explain why you had to blackmail me into marrying you. I felt like I was doing it for financial security. But, but now I see that, that, that that's not the case. It's not? What else could be the reason? Jane, I fell in love with you the first time that we danced. I fell in love with your laughter and the gentle way that you held me. I even fell in love with how you smell. I'm sorry that I took the route that I did to become closer to you. But I just hope that you can forgive me and give me another chance. I fell hard for you and decided to play for keeps. No. I 
apology not accepted. Was I too harsh? I... Yes, I... I know I felt something for her the first time, but... Look, her subsequent actions just made me feel like I'd killed those feelings perfectly. However, just seeing her now... Broken. It just stirred something up in me. The need to offer comfort, to, to help, to protect. I mean, who, who am I to judge? Look at what I was willing to do just to get this contract. Speaking of contracts, I guess there's something I have to do. I played with fire, took it higher. I let my desires get the best of me. I wish I could turn back the hands of time I wish I wake up and realize it was all a dream Oh, I'm burning I can feel it in my soul I've tried running But there's nowhere left to go Cause my hands are tired, I can't escape I only got one choice, I gotta face it JC! I was surprised when you called. So, what is this important matter you want to discuss? Sir. I am not married. I lied to you. And I apologize. I don't deserve the contract. What are you doing? What I should have done a long time ago. Giving you back your freedom. My lawyer will be in touch with you. Jay, nothing I say will make up for what I did to you. I'm really sorry for blackmailing you into marrying me. And I should have never come back after our business was concluded. And what if I say I don't want to divorce? What? I don't want to divorce. Jay, I, I don't understand. You said that you weren't going to forgive me. To err is human and to forgive is divine. What you did was wrong. But what I also did was wrong. And if I could be forgiven, then... I don't see why I can't forgive you. I'm confused. What are you saying? I don't yet have the words to explain how I feel about you. But I know they are pretty strong. 
I tried to suppress those feelings after... After the blackmail? Yes. I suppressed those feelings by telling myself that you are just an escort and a blackmailer, but... But... But seeing you broken, broke the dam. And I decided that I want to give us another chance. Of course, that's if you still have me. What about your wife? My late wife? I will always cherish Cheesy. She was my first love. And I always cherish the short time we got to spend together. But I am ready to build something fresh and new with you. I would love that. And I can't wait to tell Auntie Lillian. Uh, yes. <laughs> You need to call and tell her because she will be ecstatic. <laughs> she will. <laughs> ah, yes. Uh, I went to see Mr. Ralph and I confessed. Oh no, Jay. I'm, I'm so sorry. For what? I mean, he must have relieved you of... Uh, no, he didn't. He didn't? He was quite impressed, actually, with my bravery and the fact that I came back to tell the truth. I think it was the story of my late wife that touched him, so I guess I'm still working for him. <laughs> I'm very relieved to hear that. <laughs> Congratulations, Harry. Honey? I I think I like the sound of that. I don't think we ever had our first kiss, right? Mm, except at dinner and at the office when we're trying to convince Mr. Ralph. Oh, no, 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 no. That doesn't count. <laughs> I agree. Yes. 
Please, yeah. Um, director. They are, they are Jason Richard. Okay. Uh, Jason Richard. 